Take a break. That ping of noise that uh, you're hearing there was being Labor Day. My flag's already up. I always keep my flag out. But the neighbor across the way was beating a still post and hang his flag. So he's a little late, but the ping was getting in the way of the video and it was frustrating me. So, right, so we talked about simplicity, started to talk about plugging in. I was going to take a quick detour here. And uh, the simplicity. PC software only works on that Millennium board or the Elite board, the Lite or the 1A, and also in conjunction with 1A, all the all the adapter boards that would go with this board. They went ahead and they call this all now Simplicity Legacy or the Legacy Simplicity. More or less now they've it's obsolete. They're no longer supporting the software. They are slowly getting rid of these boards and everything's now going to what they call the SSE or Simplicity Smart Equipment Operating Platform or the SSE or SE board. This board in particular is just a single stage board. As you notice there's uh, just two, compress uh, two contactors, one for one condenser fan, one for one compressor. Two stage board obviously would have the relays in order to operate a second compressor and other condenser fans and other options. The SSE board has its own protocol. It does not communicate with the Simplicity PC software. As you notice, it does not have the communication port on this board. You have to utilize a gateway or a Wi-Fi gateway device that would plug into the phone jack here and through that device it sends a Wi-Fi signal out or it has a or it has a high-speed internet port on the bottom of the device that can go into a laptop or computer and become permanent to a building as a way to communicate with these boards or as technicians we would just have a hand-to-hand -hand held gateway device plug in and be able to do our programming out that so we're not screwing around the joystick and buttons but we're going to we're not going to work on this, talk about this at all. This is where everything's gone. You're going to find now that in about a year or two, if this board goes bad, you're going to get in a retrofit kit, take an SSE board, and replace the 1A board or the light board with this. Get ready for that. It's already happening. At the same time, it's going to happen with the Millennium board. That large board we talked about, you're going to start seeing the SSE board in a Millennium fashion being replacing those old boards but we're going to get back to basically getting into these with the simplicity pc software there's two ways to get into the to connect to these boards with our laptop the normal way and the most expensive way is to order up from york jci see we'll focus the freenet usb adapter there's the part number part of that kit comes with a high speed USB to a regular USB plug. At the same time, it comes with a Molex plug that plugs into the Freenet adapter and of course our mini USB adapter. What's required of us is take that mini USB adapter and we basically go ahead and we plug it into the board. Take a free net adapter, as you notice it has this end, and we plug that in, and we take our high speed USB, we'll plug it into the other end, and from that we plug this into our laptop. That's how we do it. On uh, that's on the 1A board, on the light board, we could do the same exact thing. Boom. In simple as that. I want you to pay one close attention because when I jump off this video and we go on to uh, this where I record my computer screen, only three wires are being used. I know this is five pin. Oh, well, this one's four pin, I'm sorry. There's only three wires being used. Again, back at here, there's only three wires being used. If you notice on our Freenet adapter on the back, See if it'll focus on this. I hope it does. Come on, you bastard. 
focus, 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 focus. Well, basically on the Freenet adapter, it has dip switches on the back. One is a switch over to RS-422, or they use this as RS-485. The dip switches on the back of this Freenet adapter are preset by the factory. They're set to be running as RS-485, and then basically run as a two wire, not a four wire. What we're doing on these is that we're just using the data transmission and ground. That's all we're using. Let's keep this in mind. The TDA minus and the TDB plus and the ground. Because I'm going to show you that you do not need this adapter or spend the big bucks. And I think this is obsolete, so even get finding this now or ordering it, you can't. From what I understand. But I will show you how to do one inexpensively so we can get in and uh, get these programmed properly. Alrighty, hang in with, hang in there with me.